Alright, everyone. I decided to make a new tier list for Melee. Um, because my chat paid me to do it. Let's, let's just get around the bullshit. Um, let's get to it. There are tiers in Melee, but it is very, very telling how well the game has aged. You got your top tiers. Alright. You got your high tiers. You got your middle. You got your unviables. And you got your trash. Alright. And I, I like saying that because a lot of people, they forget, right? They get lost in the sauce. And they're like, they're like, no, my character can do it. Shocker, they can't. Okay. Why well, I'm going to add one tier to this. And you'll understand why. <laughs> yep. That's the first thing we're going to do. Every character above him, viable. Every character underneath them, unviable. And I might, I might separate the low tier into one more tier, actually. So let's do this. Let's do it. Really bad. We'll call it really bad and trash. Sounds good? Uh, the best character in this game is, um, this guy. Fox McCloud. If you disagree, shut the fuck up. Okay, that's the Fox explanation. The second best character in this game is Marth McCloud. If you disagree, still shut the fuck up. That's my explanation for that. Alright, so now... I like those two because it's still like the easiest thing. Uh, they're in the same tier, but other characters are pretty close to it as well. Um, the third best character in this game is Fox's uh, cousin, Falco McCloud. Falco is incredibly good. Doesn't have really that bad of a matchup spread at all. Arguably beats Puff. Arguably beats a lot of characters. Goes even with Fox, at least. Man, Fox, I, don't, I always think Fox goes even. Um, also on this list... Um, I do have, in this top tier, Sheik McCloud. The thing is, there's a lot of top tiers. That's what I'm realizing. Um, yeah, I'm starting to believe Sheik is top four. Just put Puff on man. Hey, Kenbar, shut up. Can I, can I do me? Jmook, I think, has proven this character is a top tier character. And I'm starting to believe, given the amount of Sheiks that there are, and the amount of Sheiks that cause upsets, I'm starting to think Sheik is actually the fourth best. The thing is, in this top tier, I'd also put uh, Puff and Falcon and Peach maybe this is a bad idea maybe, maybe I'm starting to think they shouldn't all be in the same tier but low key it's starting to see it's starting to feel that way but I'll put Peach in high tier maybe Falcon here like every other tier list but I think Falcon's actually a top tier character I, I don't even... He's... N I know. Falcon and Fox should be in the same tier, right? Right? They shouldn't be. But then you got a guy like Wizrobe. I don't know, dude. I, I think nowadays, the level of play is just so... Insane. Like, it, it's been pushed so hard. I'm starting to think Sakurai accidentally made, like, the most balanced game in the world. Of the top, like, eight characters. By accident. Make a Falcon tier? I might. Alright, fuck it. Ice Climbers are also a high tier character, even without wobbling. Slug has proven it. The character's ability to do handoffs, the character's ability to have speed on the ground, wave dashing, kill potential. Has a whole matchup against Peach, for sure. Bad list? We good now? Anyone else? I have no patience anymore. I literally have no patience. In fact, I'm gonna make my, my camera bigger. My, in, in, in honor of my power going stronger. Okay, um, also in the high tier is probably, no, I don't think anyone else is there, huh? Because then you got, you got Pikachu, Samus, and Yoshi. But you only have like really one rep for each of those people. I actually think Yoshi is the best of those three. Then Pika. Then Samus. Pika has two reps, but Amsa still clears in terms of results. Pikachu is not better than Samus. Prove it, motherfucker. Moving on. I will say. Uh, in the middle tier, I also have... Slide below him, I have Dr. Mario. No, no, I'm sorry. Not, uh, Luigi. Luigi and Doc. Actually. I just think we haven't had a breakout star since a bait for Luigi. And shroomed for Dr. Mario. But I think they're, I think they're good characters. I might put Mar Dr. Mario lower. Um, but I've seen, like, the direction. I think it played per played really well. Doc can be there. And Luigi, Abey, Eddie Mexico, Mad Tyro, who won a big regional, exactly. And also, Akir made me a believer. I think DK's better than Gandorf, officially. I think he is. 
I think DK actually has results now. Yep, 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 yep. Ring Lernick here. Beating top Falcos. I've seen it. I've seen it. Play a Kier. He'll, he'll completely change your mind. All right. Uh, Ganondorf is in his own tier right below. Perfectly where he belongs. All right. And then we have the um, the odd task of ranking the uh, ranking the uh, the rest. Uh, I think Mario's complete trash. I think Mario's fucking garbage. I think Link, actually. I fought this Link player online named Honey something. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe like what I was seeing. It was incredible. Honey Bear. Holy fuck. Go fight Honey Bear. They can look, look better than Gandorf, but it still has Link. Also, Aklo plays Link. Aklo is like a really good kind of big character. Why is Dr. Mario better than Mario? Because he went to med school for six years. Anyways, I'll put him there. Um, right after Link, I think I have... Bro, I think I have Roy. And I think Don't Test Me proved it. I'm not smoking. Don't Test Me literally won an online major. With fucking Solo Roy. Because he played him correctly. And I'm putting him there or here, right below Young Link. Okay, but it's Zane. Okay, so pretend this tier list is the best player in the world for that character, playing that character. That's what a tier list is. Just think, think, think. I disagree with this tier list. Man, I've never heard that before. Okay, I'm putting Roy there. Um, I also have Game & Watch here. I played Forrest's Game & Watch, Curb, some other ones. He's as good as Link, or Roy. Young Link is definitely above Link. No, but he's not. He really isn't. He, like, literally isn't. Link is better. I will, I will, I will die in the hill. So I'm going to work from the bottom up now. Uh, worst character in this game is Bowser. Poor guy. Second worst character in this game is Kirby. Uh, the third worst character in this game. I like to think they're below. I think those are the only two down there. I think Kirby and Bowser are in their own trash tier. There's no point in playing those characters. I think everyone else is here. I'm starting to be a Pichu believer. Maybe I'm weird. I, I know Mario is here, but I want to put him here. I fucking despise Mario. He's there. Okay, Mario there. Um, and then in the really bad tier, in this order, this is all ordered, by the way, uh, we, have, we have Mewtwo, and then we have Ness then Pichu, and then Zelda. But Pichu might be up here, actually. I think Pichu's actually... I think Pichu's stock is slowly climbing, if I'm being honest. You notice how this tier list looks like a giant F? I'd say no, it's correct. Um, let me see if there's any last minute changes I wanna make before I put this on YouTube and everyone ye yells at me. Oh, Sopo. Okay, uh, let's rank Sopo. Sopo by himself. If I had to rank him objectively, um, I would actually put Sopo low key like here. I put him at Mewtwo or next to Mario. I sincerely believe that he can't recover. That's the problem. But you know what? Neither can neither can Mario, dude. And this is the tier list. This is my 2022 melee tier list. Again, everyone above Ganondorf is viable. Everyone below is not viable. I think DK is unexplored. Um, that's about it.